Guys, this is Dark Horse Rowing, and today we are talking about the seven benchmark workouts that you should know if you are using an indoor rowing machine. Number one, the holy grail of rowing is the 2K, 2,000 meters for time. If you ask anybody who has ever been on a machine for any period of time, this is perhaps the most feared workout in rowing. Right, Ryan? Yes. Right. Now, this is because it falls in that sweet spot between just a little bit too long and not short enough. So it is really both a physical and a mental test. Now, number two is the 500 meter. This is just a pure sprint. It will take you anywhere from one minute and 13 seconds, I believe that's somewhere around the world record, to two minutes and 45 seconds, maybe even three minutes. It just depends on your abilities. But this is your all out sprint capability and this is an excellent test for you to have. Number three is the 5K or 5,000 meters. Now this is your endurance test. This is also a bit of a bear. It may take you anywhere from 17 up into the 30 minute range. This is one of those where you just have to settle in and get comfortable being uncomfortable. These are your starter three most important workouts. Next, we're going to go to the 1,000 meter. Those of you in CrossFit, this is an excellent test because when we do Jackie, what's the distance? 1,000 meters. You should always have this one in your back pocket, so know that 1,000 meter time. Next, we are going to go to what is called the Wingate test. This one is particularly short but it is an excellent test for your max power, okay? That is what you are testing is your ability for power output. So this is a very interesting test for that specific purpose and you can use it to relay into other things. At Dark Horse, we like to use that in a lot of our calculations. So make sure that you have this one under your belt. So these are your next two most important from there. After that, number six, we like to get into calorie. Okay, using calories as a test. So one of our favorites is to run 60 calories for time, rest as needed until you feel fully recovered, and then you are going to program the monitor for the exact amount of time it took you to complete 60 calories, and then see how many calories you can get in that amount of time. So it's a two-part test, 60 calories for time, rest as needed, we like about 10 minutes, and from there, you're going to row the time it took you to row 60 calories and see how many calories you can row in that time. It's an excellent mental test. And finally, we like damper setting as an absolute must for those of you, especially if you're getting started with rowing, indoor rowing, this is an excellent test. Doing a damper setting test, which if you haven't watched our video, on the damper setting slash drag factor test. Go back and watch it. We'll link to it in this video. This is an excellent one for you to run so that you gain a better understanding of how the machine works. So again, let's go over these. Your absolute baselines, the 2K, the 500, and the 5K. Make sure you have these under your belt. Next most important, the 1000 and the Wingate. These are great tests to run and also pretty easy to run. Wingate just takes a little bit of understanding, but we'll link to that in this video as well. And from here, you're gonna have number six and seven, calorie and damper. These are much better for gaining understanding and for those of you new to the machine and getting used to rowing on the Concept2, these are going to be musts for you. Guys, this is Dark Horse Rowing signing off. These are your seven most important benchmark workouts to understand for rowing. Guys, make sure you sign up for the Dark Horse newsletter, The Hustler's Guide to Rowing, where you will get our latest blog article and our latest video every single Tuesday morning. Every single Tuesday. Guys, we will see you on the other side. Ah! Ah! <laughs>